What's up guys, it's Adam and Taylor with Overpar Golf. We've got a special surprise for you guys today. This is probably one of the craziest putters I've ever seen in my entire life. Reaper Golf reached out to Adam and I. They're a local business that design putters. They've got a patent on a brand new putter that nobody's ever seen. It's not on the market yet. Um, they wanted us to try it out. We're gonna do an unboxing. Have you seen yep. this thing yet? Um, I haven't. So we're gonna unbox it right now. I mean, as you can see, if you can see, it's still sealed both sides. Um, just looking at it, first glance, boxing is really great. I like the tape. They have their own brand on the tape, which is great. Um, it is, so this is gonna be a stainless uh, head, yep. but they do have different options. They have copper heads with black shafts, big and uh, small grips. Is so, mine copper or is it? Uh, is yours it? is copper. Copper, yeah, so, so I got the black head with the black, or uh, copper nope. head, black shaft. Correct. Black and white grip. I've seen mine, so. I'm not gonna say anything on this. I'm gonna let him kind of weigh in on yep. his own deal. So this is mine that I'm gonna be unboxed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing it. Let's do this. Here. I mean, when I say this thing is, it is insanely different, guys. Looking. It I is different. I pulled it out and JP thought it was a left-handed putter. It yeah. almost looks like a joke. And we're gonna give you give you a review. We're gonna putt with it and stuff like that. You know, we're here uh, at De Cardova and Granbury. We're gonna do some putting on the green here. So just kind of give you a little insight of what we think of it, stuff like that too. Yeah. So, I mean, first glance, so just unboxing. Got a sick head you cover. Got a sick head cover, which you can actually use for all blade putters. So nice packaging there. Okay, wow. So looks like it comes with a couple of koozies. Oh, that's um, sick. Another head cover so it doesn't get scratched. Straight out of the box. Good packaging though, I really like that. That's the biggest thing. There's nothing worse than getting something brand new and then the box is all yeah. halfway put together and beat up and stuff just kind of falls out. It's all in the box. You want it to look like they actually cared about it when they sent it to you, which is a big thing. Okay, so you actually got some specs here. Um, specs of like the putter weight, head oh, yeah. weight, shaft length, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool just for you know people to actually look into that. So. I'm over here crinkling the bag while you're talking. Yeah, no, that's fine. You can't really hear it anyway, so we're all good. But yeah, I mean, a couple of koozies, that's stickers. pretty cool. Yeah, it's got stickers. Part. Stickers. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. Is that a pitch mark tool? So I also Koozie. opted for the black shaft, oversized grip, which, I mean, this grip is pretty sick. It actually says Reaper Golf on it. You can see, so that's pretty nice. But let's go ahead and look at this head. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And it is a milled face, so I've putted a little bit with mine already. I, I couldn't wait. It is very pure, very, very pure yeah. off the face. Yeah, and this is a milled face, which is awesome. And, I mean, stainless, it looks great, I mean, to the eyes. So this is an opposite putter. You're not hitting it from the heel. You're hitting it from the toe. So it is different. And, I mean, just by feeling it, it feels like it has good inertia behind it. So some some blades to me, you really have to feel like you get through it, but this seems like it has a little bit more weight through it. So I like that feeling, but I mean, to the eye. I mean, I think the biggest thing for me whenever I picked it up is, of course, whenever they told me about it or whenever Adam told me about it, he said it was a, a toe shafted putter. Your first thought is where's it gonna hang? You know, when you right. put it in your hands, is it gonna be super heavy off the toe or is it gonna be very, you know, heavy off the heel? There's a, you really had no idea what the putter was actually gonna feel like. It honestly doesn't feel bad. There's enough metal at the back of this shaft. And if you look close, you can tell where there's a little bit more material at the back of the shaft or at the back of the head versus the front. So you get that little bit of heel weight to balance things out. And it does sit pretty flush. The one thing I did notice about it, putting, as far as stability, and this could be a me thing, but I don't really get this feel in my mallet, is these greens are real slow, so you're having to hit the putts a little harder. It's a little tougher to putt traditionally, grip-wise, harder. I would opt almost to go to like a claw, just to keep the stability in the squared face a little more. I don't know if that's the, the toe shaft of the club, but when I say this thing is pure, it is pure. So just so y'all know, whenever you get these putters, you'll actually get a little bit of information about the putter. 
So this kind of gives you um, key benefits to this putter and force of inertia of, on a moving object. So that kind of goes back to what I was saying about the inertia feeling. It just, so it kind of gives you a full description in here of everything about this putter. So that's pretty cool too. And let's see what this is. This also came in the packaging as well. Yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff. Oh, so got a pretty sweet, and I'm not sure if they send this in every package. Of course, they reached out to us and wanted us to kind of bring this on the channel. Yep. So I'm sure we got a little bit of extra stuff, but all of this is on their website. Yep. Um, it's all high quality. It's heavy. Everything they yeah. make is so durable. So that's one thing about me is whenever I am... So for divot fixtures, I really like, if it has a nice loaded spring, I yeah. like that. Yeah. That means, that tells me that it's made out of good quality yeah, material. Yeah, time and effort so, and put money and, into it. Yeah, so I really like that. Nice anodized red. And I think it comes with, they also have like blue, silver, black, all that, all the good jazz. So I want to putt with this thing. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do some putting and see what it's like. Well, we've got a couple, I've got three tees set up. I'm a line putter. So I'm gonna set the lines up on all my putts. This is gonna be the best way for me to truly tell what this putter's doing based off my hands, the feel, the grass that we're putting on, which is a little taller. They're, this is brand new, so they're letting it grow up a little bit to kind of choke out this poana that's bad in the Bermuda over here. So we're gonna hit a couple, uh, I'd say it's about a 20 foot putt. Like I was saying earlier, I almost feel better when I go to the claw just because I do notice that there is a little bit of heel weight here. And sometimes I, I do this number where I want to take the head away or the toe away almost. So I'm going to claw these longer ones and just kind of give you a read. I mean, they're pure off the face. I mean, that's pretty salty for the first putt. It is hot. I'm glad that the face is milled because especially on these slower greens, you're gonna want a putter that's a little more quick. Yeah. If you're putting downhill on something that's running 12 and up on the stem, you're not gonna want such a hot putter, kind of something with a little more deadness to it mm -hmm. just to control your line. But I love that the fact and it's got a big sweet spot. I mean, I definitely didn't hit the center of the club face there and it still felt pure. Yeah, that was me. That was a straight pull. All right, one more. Let's see if I can jar one here. I mean, this thing is, it's freaking wild to look at. Yeah, it's in the hole. Get left. Oh, that was a good putt. I mean, for for control of speed and distance, like I said, I've putted with this thing a little bit. With my mallet, my spider that I usually use, I would hit those a lot harder than I just had to with this. This is also a little heavier in the head, obviously, because there is so much material here, and it is a little longer shaft. You're barely having to swing this thing. I mean, it's a very back and through swing, which is nice because... If you're having to hit a ball really hard, it's easy to get offline because you're pulling or you're pushing or you're doing a whole bunch of stuff just to try and get power into it. I love that aspect about this. It's very, very pure. And you can just let it fall onto the club instead of having to really smash something in there. <laughs> All right, so Taylor has hit some putts with it. Um, and I think it's very important to know that Taylor is a scratch golfer. I believe you're a plus two handicap. Plus two. So he has a little bit more knowledge on, you know, putters and just basically the overall game of golf. As somebody that's a, a higher to mid handicap, you know, I wanted to go ahead and putt with this and see, you know, for the people out there that are a little bit, you know, higher handicap um, as far as myself and what I would think about it and how it feels in my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a couple as well and see how it goes. I think the whole... Like I was just saying too, in between this middle point and the shaft, money. It's pure. I noticed, and it's obvious, right? It's a, it's a toe shafted putter. If you're hitting it off the heel, it's going to want to do this number where it kind of gets away from you a little bit. But I mean, in between the shaft and the, in the middle of the club itself, it is extremely good. 
and that is a conversation starter to say the least. You it is. I mean, thing on a course. If you are on the course on the green and you pull this bad boy out, people are gonna start talking. I'm gonna to do you. it. I might put it in the bag next week just to play with it. Might shoot the best round of my life. Who knows? Reaper Golf, come on. Oh, and shout out to Doug. He is the owner of Reaper Golf. He gave us a couple of hats who they're. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, Doug hooked it up. Yeah, Doug hooked it up. Definitely. All the swag. I mean, custom making these putters for us. One thing about this guy, though, don't let him fool you with the whole handicap thing. He can putt. If I could get down by the green, I could chip and putt. You're like but getting out. to the green, whole different story. <laughs> See, I can get to the green, no problem. You put me behind a wedge. Yeah, Taylor, or, or you know, he, and... he drives a ball for, you know, 350 yards. And, 450 yards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, on a good day with the wind on your back, for sure. That's pure, dude. That's pure. I mean, one thing automatically off the rip that I can say is the ball coming off of the face of these, pure and like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but whenever like some putters, as soon as it comes off the face, like it takes a hop and a skip. This with the milled faces, no chance. Watch, I'm gonna drain every single one of these now that I'm not on camera. It's two for two. I mean, Taylor's just dropping them over here from five, three, eight feet. Oh, shoved it. <laughs> Go ahead and get this out of the hole for me. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so that concludes our review on the new Reaper Golf Putter. Um, is it going in the bag? 100%. Um, overall, I like the way it putts. I love the way it feels off the head. For a, a mid to high handicap, you know, golfer, I, I love the way it feels. The grips, you know, like the, it feels just as good, if not better, than the super grips that you get the at grip PGA. Grip is really so, nice. You know, yeah, it's a good quality. The shaft is good quality. I love the look of the overall putter. It is very interesting to me, to say the least. But the milled head, I mean, it's hard to beat. Honestly. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, it's a great putter, and I'm glad that we had the opportunity to bring this out here and, and putt with it. And now we get to use them. Yeah, you know, I might go out and shoot my best round tomorrow with it who knows if i do we could be on to something here yeah you will see it in future videos which we do have some uh, videos coming up we're going to be playing in a scramble at cowboys club in frisco here april 28th with a scramble with our good buddies Corey and josh is it in frisco or is it is it in, in frisco it's in frisco yep really it's up in frisco by the star cowboys yep oh okay all right I thought so right. um we will be doing a scramble later on this month so look out for that video where we might do like a little nine hole match between us you know yep. we never know so and guys i mean you guys saw all the stuff that they sent us. Go to the website, go check out all the stuff that they've got on there. Got discount code over par 15. Yep. Get you one of these. It's worth a shot. And it's not a bad price point, truly. You're gonna go out and spend for 250 bucks. Yeah, 250 bucks. It's worth a shot. Yeah. This may change your game. If you're going through a putting slump or you just can't figure something out, just try it. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Like right. I said, you might go out and shoot the round of your life. It is pure Why off go the buy price. a $600 Scotty Cameron yeah, I mean. that you suck with? and go spend 250 on a Reaper Golf putter and you might just shoot the best round of your life. You yeah. never know. You never know. So that's it for today's videos, guys. Hey, we appreciate you stopping by. As always, this is Overpar Golf on YouTube, Instagram, look us up. If you can, just give us a like, subscribe, and look out for uh, future videos. Yep. Thanks, guys. Peace.